what I do. When to plant wildflower seeds in Florida. Mid October through December. I'm a lot late, but I'm gonna plant my wildflower seeds because I think they'll grow nicely. I think that's for the winter. I don't know. I'm probably wrong and probably probably the, the people that are that are expert farmers are right. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna plant my seeds and see if they grow. Mm -hmm. And if they don't, like Chemical said, we'll plant something else. Mm -hmm. I just feel bad because I'm a plant killer. I mean, I don't kill them on purpose, but they just don't do so well with me. But we'll see. Now I've got flowers on my glasses, Chemical. Mm -hmm. So that makes all the difference. It does. Chemical's laughing at me with my little rake. <laughs> But like one of my viewers sent this to me and it's exactly what I need for the garden. It's have you ever done a garden before? I have not. So then don't worry about my rake. We're gonna grow some flowers. <laughs> yeah. You excited? Okay, come on. Yo, was there a bug on me? I forgot what gardening was like. A bug on me? There's no bugs. <laughs> so I'll leave your mind because you haven't been out here in so long. <laughs> As soon as something bites me, I'm going inside. Then you're done. Yeah. Did I do all of them? Well, I don't know. Maybe one a day? Yeah. I think that's a good idea. One a day? One a day. A little work, rake was kind of came in handy. It sure did. Thank you to who said this to me. I can't laugh at it anymore. No. Good little rake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll do one a day. I'm not a fan of being out here. I mean, I like to sit on my porch, but there. Now just sprinkle the seeds. And that's it. Yeah, God will do the rest. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. Oh, it looks like granola. You get that? Oh, that's cute. You see it? Yeah. Instruction. <laughs> granola. Yep, okay, I'm flipping for best. Spread the mixture, scattering them loosely, densely. I don't know. <laughs> that didn't last long. There we go. Should I do another one? It's totally up to you. I'm sweaty now, I might as You're well. already in it. Okay. We're gonna see. <laughs> Trees. We have Can you help me faith. Get this back in here with your string. We have faith that the wildflowers are gonna grow like wildflowers. Yeah, they're gonna grow like wildflowers. <laughs> You're gonna need more than this just tree. Food. He's great. He's in my vlog now. <laughs> he had a vlog. He did with his two hands. I know him forever. Since basketball days. Whew, I'm sweating. It was actually pretty warm out there. Lemonade left. She was like, I'm going inside. Mm -hmm. And then we came inside because, whoo. But it felt good to work hard in the dirt. I forgot how good that feels. So. We'll see what we get. The days are getting warmer, they're getting longer, the rain's starting to rain again. It was very dry all winter, so we'll see what we get. So I'm getting ready for open mic night tonight, woohoo! I got my guitar and I'm wrapping up my keyboard. I gotta put um, batteries in it and bring the whole stand and everything and Good thing it's right there. We get dropped off. It's like right there and set up, set up and uh, it's going to be great. So hopefully I'll remember to vlog while I'm there because I always forget. We made it. We made it. We made it and I remembered to video. 
Brittany's in such a good mood today. She says I have no chill. Maybe because it's open mic night and I'm excited. You run with orange, you're a diamond in the rough. No need to shine you up, your smile is enough. You're my favorite color in the rainbow, you stand out. You've got a sparkle in your eye and your smile is enough. We met on a Tuesday, we were wearing matching shirts. Orange color in a sea of gray, I think I saw you first. You said, I like your style, do you wanna go hang out? And we've been friends ever since, you're my diamond in the rough. Hi friends, so, okay, um, what I want to tell you about, I've been just doing everything this week and I realized that I overscheduled myself, which I went from having like nothing to do when COVID first started to being now a year later, like so busy with things to do just from my house. Like I'm not even going anywhere really, I'm just working on things virtually and have got a lot of things going on and this week I realized I took off a little more than I could handle so um I looked at next week and I like try to like tell I had to tell some people no I can't do this you know I can't do this and stuff and try to cut back because that's the thing too over scheduling yourself you can under schedule yourself or be bored or you can over schedule yourself so I'm learning that my time, also my time management is not very good. I mean, sometimes I'll spend hours doing something of like very little significance. <laughs> and then I'll be like, oh my goodness, I have I have so many things I have to do or didn't do, forgot to do. So today, this morning I said no more, Jennifer. We're turning over a new leaf. And I made a written to-do list on a piece of paper right next to me. And I actually accomplished everything on the list except two things. Those two things I was supposed to do with Brittany, but Brittany's not here today. She um, had a day off, so we're gonna have to do those tomorrow. And, but that will be after, you don't, you don't care because it's already done by the time you're seeing this vlog. I don't know why I think like that. Anyways, um, so let me show you what I've been doing this week. Here is a piece that I was working on this week um, for my job with the musical artist. I'm a content writer for them now, and I write blog posts and do their Instagram posts. And I actually interviewed my friend, Sunny, who also has autism and is blind, and she's a musician with perfect pitch. And we talked about how we go about learning music by ear. We talked about compare and contrast. Um, I have relative pitch and she has perfect pitch. So we talked about that and it was really fun to talk to her. We actually did an interview over a Zoom call and then I had the the Zoom call um, autom with, um, I used a company that will trans, you know, transfer it to written word. Um, and it's a, I used the computerized one because it costs a lot less. And then I just had to like tweak the sentences because you know, when you talk to each other, you're like, and, um, well, um, and repeat yourself. So I made it like coherently sentences for reading. And I actually put the interview up about Sunny. That's Sunny. I'm actually going to put a link to her channel, um, in this video so you can see her play her music because she's really great. So that's what I did today. I finished up this article and posted it and all the other content that went along with it. So that took me, I interviewed Sunny on Tuesday. Today's Wednesday. Um, Monday, Monday, I just made songs all day. I've been really stuck on making these like little short jingles. My friend at church gave me the nickname Jingle Jen. And I think I'm going to go with it because I do make a lot of jingles. And I'm going to show you that next. So I'm gonna open up a program called Logic Pro. And that's what I use to make all my music, record, mix, master. And this is Logic Pro. This is the very last song I wrote called No Chill. <laughs> and that's a funny story behind that. And this is all that goes into it. So I'll tell you about No Chill. 
<laughs> on Monday, Brittany came in and, you know, it was Monday and she's kind of like, oh, it's Monday. And I was just so energetic and wanting to do everything under the sun. And she, finally, she, I just kept bugging her. And she's like, Jen, you have no chill. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? Okay, Brittany, I'll show you no chill. And so I literally, literally wrote a song called No Chill. Um, we'll play it in the vlog, probably on the on the at the end. <laughs> I'll play it for you. So this is No Chill, and this is how I go about writing like one of my songs. I'll usually start with a a melody or a chord progression. Um, in this case, I started with a ukulele. Uh, did I use the ukulele? No, I didn't use the ukulele. I used, I started, yeah, I did use the ukulele track. I'm sorry. Right here. I'll play it for you. Okay, so this is the first thing I did was make a, a play it, figure out a little ukulele chord progression. I keep my ukulele like always handy. It's right here. I got some mail over there from you guys. Got it open. And... So I played a track. I just came up with a little chord progression and this is how it sounds by itself. I'll play it for you. I'm gonna solo. See, I'm gonna solo this track so only this track plays. And here we go. It counts in. Just a simple little ukulele track. Not even the very good one. <laughs> And then we're gonna add the next instrument. Ready? Here comes everything. Oh. Sometimes I've got no chill. The doctor gets called. Aging doctor Phil. And he gives me a <laughs> little yellow pill. So my problems will be solved. <laughs> sometimes I take it. And sometimes I don't. I'm full of ideas and words and troubles. And I don't want it to go. Okay, so that's how I do it. I just start with a little chord progression or melody in my head, play that out on an instrument like the piano, ukulele, or guitar, and then I slowly start adding layers. All of these things are layers that I added one at a time. So this is how music is done. Like, they just add layers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm going to show you i'm gonna add each layer at a time i've got vocals i've got different things and let you hear everything progress okay in trouble where it comes from i'll never know sometimes i just can't sleep because my brain is taking a job so i stay up all night writing silly little songs Sometimes I've got no chill. The doctor gets called. Aging Dr. Phil. And he gives me a, a little yellow pill. So my problems will be solved. Okay. Sometimes I take it. And sometimes I don't. Because I'm full of ideas and words and trouble. And I don't want it to go. Piano. And that, my friends, is how the sausage is made. That is how you make a song. Um, so if you're interested in doing something like that, there's a free program. You don't have to have Logic. You, as long as you have a laptop or a phone, because there's an app for it, it's called Soundtrap. And it works a lot like Logic, but it's simpler. And it's actually based online. So you don't even have to download a program or anything. And what's cool about Soundtrap is you can like collaborate with other musicians. So you you could do a track and then someone across the country could add to that same track like the vocals or the instruments so i mean if you have a dream of doing music or just think it's something you'd like to try soundtrap is awesome because it's free and this isn't like a sponsor no one asked me to do this i'm just telling you because it's a cool resource um soundtrap it's free and it's like pretty easy to figure out and use so if you want to do something like that, um, I highly encourage you because you never know what you can do till you try. I never, I never knew, um, that I could do something like that. Like I really didn't. I was able to play the piano, 
but I never tried singing. I never tried making beats. Like that was for people who went to school and college or just were different than me, you know? But you know what? You never know unless you try. So that's my encouragement for the day at least. And uh, oh, look what I got. I got this little um, action camera. It's not a GoPro. GoPros cost like a lot of money. <laughs> but it's an action camera and it'll do the trick. And I'm going to um, put this outside. It won't be this vlog. I'm sorry. But for next week, I'm going to put this outside. Set it up with Brittany. Figure out the, I don't know, if there'll be enough light. Hopefully this has like a night mode or something. And we are going to see what is digging that hole. Or maybe not. But at least our curiosity will be sort of satisfied, if not satisfied. That, I guarantee. Okay, so you guys know that I love Cobra Kai, Brittany loves Cobra Kai, and a lot of people love Cobra Kai. If you don't know what it is, it's a show on Netflix about karate. So, we were at Walmart the other day. Don't start without me. I'm not starting without you, I'm just doing the intro. I was going to come out there and we were going to do it. Okay. okay. Okay, we'll do it in here and find the flowers. So, well, I think these are going to be the best. We should oh my gosh, them. you're not doing it right. I'm, ta I'm, taking, over. Jumping. I'm taking over the channel. Hi. I think we should start with these. I don't think they're going to be as good. No, they're going to be gross. So. Okay. You still running it? Yeah, I'm still running it. Hi. Brittany Cam. It's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you didn't even let me explain to the show in the packages. So we found these off-market, like like um fake like obviously they don't have permission to use the brand mm -hmm. so they went around it by making bonsai bites instead of miyagi dough and it <laughs> says read the back yeah but kicking blueberry sprinkles sweet kicking blueberry cake bonsai blueberry mm -hmm. spread pow pow panda pound cake i don't know where they got this no from. did you read the back of the thing <clears throat> so this one says intimidated you should be as cobra kenny <laughs> Wait, we clearly the, for the vlog. The snake, the snake's name is Cobra Kenny. Apparently. Cobra Kenny. Okay, Cobra Kenny said Johnny. Uh, Cobra Kenny shows no mercy when it comes to people messing with his Cobra cakes. I hope you didn't take the last box. Kenny is an emotionally challenged karate teaching snake that went to sliver into a beer bottle or three. But Kenny is no snake in the grass. He prefers cr cruising in his muscle car, <laughs> listening to 80s pop rock, and indulging his sweet fang with a Cobra cake. The newest addition to our grab-and-go cake by Dojo, a rich vanilla cake layered over, bar yeah, whatever, there's like a bunch of stuff. Um, Kenny there's likes no to Cobra cake for life! <laughs> Cobra cake for life! This is so ridiculous. So be a winner and pick up a box of Cobra Cakes before the season comes to an end. Not sponsored. Or before they get busted by um, <laughs> Netflix and have to take all their stuff back. It even has like Johnny's hair. Stuff. It has Johnny's bangs. It's ridiculous. It's hilarious. So we're about to try the cakes. My arm's getting tired. I thought you were vlogging. Oh, you're just my, you're my camera holder. Oh, I'm you. Yeah, I'm hiring. I'm you and you're me. Yeah. <gasps> I get it. Okay. My hair needs to be a little bit more floofy. Want me to make it? There, now you're Jen. Now I'm Jen. <laughs> Wait. Okay, you're Jen. It's what I do. <laughs> Brittany, hold the camera steady. Brittany, are you getting it? Is it in focus? Is it in focus? Is it are, you, are, are you, you recording? Are you recording? Is the line, like, you have to be, like, in the off center of the line? <laughs> Lemonade, I don't think you should try Cobra cake. Oh, the teeny's hanging. Okay, I'm just going to, okay, You ready? Hold on. Oh, the whole thing in your mouth. Okay, one, two, three, dink. Actually, not that bad. If they use regular chocolate, it's dead. Yeah. They're not terrible. I don't like dark chocolate. It's coconut in there, I think. I don't taste coconut. I'm too allergic to coconut. No, more than pineapple. Oh. They're actually moist yeah. and kind of good. I just don't like dark chocolate. I'm yeah. If they use regular chocolate, hey, to Cobra Cakes people. If you use regular chocolate instead. I don't think they're called Cobra Cakes. Like, I mean, they're, they're not called Cobra Cakes. I don't think they're called Oh, Cake Bites make cake them. Bites. Okay, next, I'm excited for the blueberry cakes. Oh, let's see what I have to say. Oh, my arm. Meet Benny Bonsai. Remember, it reads slow because when you read fast, it's hard for people to keep up. Like, because the, it's on video and it, like, muffles. You're not my comedian. Meet Benny Bonsai, an undersized East Coast tree living on the West Coast and indulging in his true love, karate. A sensei with a big heart and a bigger house. <laughs> Benny has mastered the round house kick and the ability to make a lot of money while hardly working. 
<laughs> call him out. <laughs> call him out. <clears throat> That's why Benny loves our new bonsai bites. And then it explains what they are. After a long day of trying to be calm, yet engaging in never-ending street fights, <laughs> Benny needs his balance, and he finds it with an evening curled up on the sofa, binging his hit favorite TV shows and finding bliss in a bonsai bite. Find your balance. Chill with a bonsai bite. Yeah. Let's go. Come on, Saturday. Blueberry. That's so funny. What is this one called? Blueberry? Blueberry bonsai bites. <sighs> Put them in a snack bag. And they have sprinkles. I love sprinkles. I think these are going to be better. Yeah. Hurry, Brittany. I'm trying. Just pull this rip down. Oh, my arm. This is what it's like to be you? It is. The struggle is real. Ooh. It smells like Pop-Tarts. Sure does. Kai smells like blue blueberry mini wheats. It smells like pop -tarts. It's really strong. Ready? Click. Click. You don't like it? No. It tastes like a pop tart. This is like a blueberry pop tart. I don't like it. Those will be yours, and the red ones will be mine. If you like blueberry pop tarts, this is this is the snack for you. Is that your final review? Yeah. But definitely tastes like a blueberry pop tart. But like a soft, chewy, moist blueberry pop tart. She's like, where are my bonsai bites, man? You never get the good stuff. You get ice cream. I'm gonna get you some lemonade. I'm gonna get you some frozen yogurt on Saturday when you go get your. Your, your hair cut, okay? <laughs> yes, okay. You wanna tell everybody about the little problem you've been having? <laughs> Chewing on the sheets? Yeah? We're working on it, right? We're doing extra attention and walks? Yeah, we got a treatment plan for you, baby. This is Jen. And this is Brittany. I don't remember what it is. <laughs> I haven't done okay. that in a while. You haven't done that in a long, long time. We'll this, do it now. This is rebranding autism. No. Right. This is Jen. This is Brittany. Okay. This is Jen. This is Brittany. And this is rebranding autism. We'll see you another day with another vlog. Okay. Bye. Oh, yeah. This is like that. This is, this is like that country barn dancing beat. Ha. Yeehaw. Let's go. I want to get your attention. Can't you see me over here? I'm up against this wall, so my intentions aren't clear And I wanna get your attention, see I'm staring over there But you're hanging with the cool kids The room is filled with starlight, now I feel like I could fly But I can't get off this wall, I'm holding on for dear life So I'm swaying back and forth, I feel the rhythm in my bones But you're hanging with the cool kids and I'm alone what do you see in them anyway? And they talk behind your back and smoke all day? Come on now, really. Yeah, I'm quirky, but I'm real.